Hello everyone, it's Marguerite. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another special video. I'm doing a collab with the beautiful Erica Moulton. She has a beauty YouTube channel. She does a lot of daily vlogs. I especially love her car vlogs. So we got to know each other. She's such a sweet girl. I really cherish my friendship with her. So we decided to collab. It's just a way for us to, to get each other's channels out to our subscribers. So I'm going to link her channel below. So the purpose of this video is we each are doing a one brand only makeup tutorial. So I chose Maybelline. I originally was going to do CoverGirl, but I went to Walgreens and Maybelline was buy one get one 50% off. And I realized I like Maybelline products a lot more and I think I'll actually continue to use them throughout tutorials. Whereas CoverGirl, I haven't really been crazy with. So for this video, I'm using all Maybelline makeup products and I'm so excited about it because I've been wanting to do a one brand only makeup challenge and this was so fun. Unfortunately, I'm not using Maybelline brushes because they don't exist, but I tried to use all drugstore brushes too. And Erica is also going to be doing a one brand only makeup tutorial. So please check out her video. I'm going to link it in my description bar below. So click that little link so that you can click on it and see her fun tutorial. So I would love you to check out her channel and her video as well so you can see her one brand only makeup challenge that she's doing. And please remember to subscribe. I would appreciate that. And you can also click the bell next to the subscribe button and that will notify you of all my new videos if you're interested in seeing them. So anyways, enough talking. Let's get right into this tutorial. Oh, let's get started. Okay, so a couple things. I already have false lashes on. I applied them before I'm even about to start because it's just one of those days where I'm just not in a good mood, feeling down on myself. So I just wanted to put some false lashes on before I started filming. They just helped me feel better, you know? Now onto the makeup tutorial. I bought all new makeup from Walgreens. And I already have some Maybelline products that I love that I'm going to be using, like the Mitt Master Conceal Concealer this Radiant Lumi Touch Highlighter Brightener in color Radiant, and the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder, so I'm going to already be using those. You're kind of going to be getting my first impression as well. So to start things off, I'm going to first use this Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I got the Blur Plus Redness Control, number 300 Blur Plus Redness Control. I have a lot of redness in my skin, so I'm curious to try this out. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge to apply it. I'm just going directly dot that on to the sponge and just press this into my skin. It's really good to press primers into your skin and I'll really press it into your pores so that it can really fill in those pores and protect your skin and help your makeup application apply more smoothly. Now I'm using the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. I'm using the, the color number 40 Nude and it has an airbrush finish so Let's put it to the test. I'm going to apply two pumps onto my sponge and start pressing this into my skin all over my face. I'm gonna go in with another pump just cause it's a little uneven and I need more coverage. Gonna go in with another pump. <laughs> so, bad thing about a sponge it really soaks up a lot of your products I think I should have gone in first with the brush applied it with a brush and then gone in with this last just to pick up any excess and it would save me a lot of product I'm gonna try out this new concealer this master conceal is by far one of my favorites I talked about this in my best of beauty 2016 products because it is one of my favorite concealers but I'm going to try out the new Maybelline fit me concealer and first I'm going to apply the Maybelline radiant touch eye brightener this is peach colored I like to start in the inner corner of my eye and then just draw this in an under eye half moon shape like that just to get over the dark circles and then I'm going to blend it out with this sponge and this is just a really good trick to cancel out dark circles and just give your concealer a boost it will just really help brighten your under eye area so it's a nice little booster for your concealer now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the color 10 Light. I don't like the smell of it. I can already tell you that. And yeah, this is, okay, how is this light? This is not, I like my concealers very light. <laughs> and this is a little too dark for my liking. Okay, I don't like this concealer. 
I'm going to apply the master conceal over it. I just, I like when my concealer is really, really light and usually like by the time I go in with powders and bronzers, it evens out. See how light this is compared to how light that is. And these are both the color 10 light, <laughs> which is very weird to me. The top is the master conceal and the bottom is a fit me together. I guess it's a good match, but I don't like the fit me alone because again, I like my concealer really, really bright. And then whatever's extra, I'm going to shape out my brows and put it on my brow bone and my lid and use this as my eyeshadow primer. And blend it out with sponge. And then I usually like bringing it all the way back to my hairline and that will just really help instantly lift my face up and give it a natural face lift. And then you can apply whatever's left on the bridge of your nose, underneath your nose. You usually get redness right there on your chin and this will just help cancel out all that's going on under your eyes. I will say I do like this Fit Me concealer on my cheekbones, but not right under my eye. I usually like something brighter, like the Master Conceal 10 Fair color, but I love the Fit Me underneath that, and I guess together it makes a good combination. Kind of customizes it, which I like. Now, I wanted to try out something new for contouring. So I picked up this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Plus Balance Foundation Stick the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick, but I got the color Toffee Caramel, 330 Toffee Caramel. It shows there's an anti-shine power core. In the center is an anti-shine formula, and then the perimeter is the foundation, the pigment. So I'm gonna try this for, well, I guess more of like just adding warmth. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I got this at Walgreens also to blend it out. I like to very lightly go over it in circular upward circular motions and then just repeat that all the way around the perimeter of my face. and I'm using this Mikasa brush to blend out my, con my nose contour. I'm just going in slow and small circular upward motions. And I always bring this right under my brow. Mama! Mama! Okay, now I'm gonna set my face. I'm using this Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder to dust over my face and set my cream product. First, I'm gonna dip my wet complexion sponge. Mama in it and apply that right under my eyes and this is just a really good natural way to set under your eyes that way it will prevent too much powder being added which too much powder can aid you and really enhance those lines under your eyes and just make you look old and next i'm taking the maybelline strobe stick in the color medium and i find that the most natural way is just to apply this with your finger this is a highlighter when you apply it with your finger it just gives a really nice natural glow oh. I find that it's just a little too intense when you apply it with a brush and it can leave a streak. So I'll usually apply a couple of coats of that. Just a quick recap, so far I really like this foundation. I mean, I've only had it on for like 20 minutes, but I think it has a really pretty finish so far. So I'm curious to see how it wears. I usually like Maybelline foundations a lot, so I'm sure it's good. So far I like the coverage and I like the finish of it. Seems like it helped cover my redness. So, so far I like it. Now for bronzer, I decided to go with, they had a contour kit, but I didn't like the colors. It just looked really cheap to me. If you've tried it, let me know your feedback and maybe I'll check it out. But I just, I decided to use a powder and I really like using powders as bronzers sometimes because they're usually more full coverage. So I decided to get the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Powder. And I got it in the color 320 Natural Tan. So I thought this looked like it had more of a gray ashy tone to it. It will be good for contouring. And so let's see. I'm going to open up the new Sonia Kashuk limited edition four piece brush set that I got from Target. So I usually have a bad habit of not washing brushes before I use them. <laughs> kind of smells chemically. First I'm going to use this brush to contour with it since it's more compact. 
product seems nice and pigmented. And I'm first applying that under my cheekbone. And then I like to go in upward circular motions, same as where I put all the cream bronzer. Okay, now I'm gonna use this more fluffy brush. Kinda looks like a good powder brush or blush. And I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and this is just gonna not give it such a contour feel and just bronze up my skin. Okay, now for blush, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the color Light Mauve, number 106. Came with a brush, but I don't use this. I don't know if anyone uses those. I personally don't like those brushes. So I'm gonna use the same fat, chubby brush that I used to bronze my skin. Really get it in that blush. And then just and go in circular, upward circular motions. And um, looks like this is not showing up at all. Wow, I can hardly get this to show up. Here, maybe if I use a more compact brush, it will show up. Oh, and this thing just broke off. <laughs> <gasps> okay, this is hardly showing up. So I do not recommend this product to anyone. If you found a Maybelline blush color, maybe some of the other ones work, but this is so powdery. It is, I'm literally swirling my finger, pressing it in, and nothing is picking up. It looks like a very, very, very light, powdery pink, and it's heinous. I bet if I wet here. I'll waste my favorite spray and see if it will pick up the blush. So let's spray the brush, get it wet, spray my face while I'm at it. Ah, I am glad I did this. Now with my brush wet, let's see if it picks up any of the blush. I literally need magnifying glass. I cannot even, yeah, I don't think this is picking up anything. So like if you have a fixed plus or something, that will not help either. Don't buy this blush. I do not recommend this to anyone. The cat broke off, nothing picks up at all. I've been trying for way too long, I've been trying for five minutes, so it's very disappointing to me. I'm gonna be trying out a new product for my brows. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise number 255 Soft Brown. We'll see how this compares to my beloved Anastasia. So one end is the pencil and the other end is the spool. Okay, I'm gonna warm it up on my hand. This isn't your typical hard pencil. This seems very creamy. So I usually like to alternate, like do a couple strokes and then use the spool end to distribute it. And I usually do the start of my eye last. So I try to get the points even, the two points even first, and then work my way to the front. And this one's usually always higher. That darn thing. That darn little sucker. So this is very creamy and it gets on very fast. I definitely like that. So far, I've, I'm impressed with this. It seems like it uses a lot of product fast, so I already need to sharpen it pretty soon. That darn sucker. So I feel like this is very, very creamy and pigmented. I like how creamy it is. The formula kind of reminds me of the Anastasia one, actually. Now for eyes, what I'm most excited for, I already prepped them with the concealer. I'm gonna apply a little powder to set that concealer. Just like me, set the foundation on your face, you want to set your eyes. So I got a couple of products that I'm excited to try out for my eyes. I got these new Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Crumbs in the color Gunmetal and Silver Spark. And then I got the Nudes Maybelline Palette. And this is the dark nudes, I guess. 
These aren't really nudes to me. I mean, I can show you nudes if you want to see me in the nude. Just kidding. So I'm going to first go in with a little powder just to carve out my crease. And then I'm going to go in with the gun metals and kind of let those do all the work. So first I'm going to apply this champagne color all over my lid and especially in my inner eye. Hold on. Let's see if these are even pigmented. This one seems, that seems pretty. All right, I think they're pigmented. Let's hope. So I'm going for a very dark gunmetal dark eye. But first I wanna carve out my crease. Whatever's left, I always go under my eye with. Again, I'm taking this grayish brown color and just buffing this in my eye in a half moon shape. I go in circular and backwards circular motions. So I added some black also just to smoke it out and get ready for the, the dark, dark black that I'm about to apply. So I'm curious to see how this goes. I don't know if I need to blend this out or, okay, I'm going to apply this to my eyelid. Oh, this isn't as wet as I thought it would be. It's very, I was expecting this to be like a lot more gloopy and wet. <laughs> So I'm bringing this all the way up to my crease and it seems like it dries in a powdery form. I'm applying another coat. So it has a nice powdery finish. Definitely like this product. It seems like it does a lot of the work for you. You just literally paint it on your eyelid. I'm trying to let it dry before I really open it to prevent creasing. So I was going to apply the silver color to the lid, but I don't want to. I might apply a little to the inner corner of my eye just for some fun little magic. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little. I love that. This might be the winner of the day for me. Now I'm going to apply this Real Techniques dome shaped eyeshadow brush and kind of repeat the process that I did for my top part of the eye but repeat it for my lower eye, just to give it more of that ombre smoked out look. Cause I got a lot going on my, on the top of my eye. So I want to even some of that out. You know what? I wasn't going to apply liner, but I might just do a little, but not a wing or anything. So I got the ultra liner Maybelline, this ultra liner 301 black. So let's see what this looks like. Now I'm applying this pen on my, my lower waterline and this is just gonna really help my eyes pop. I love going in with a black liner when I have black eyeshadow on. A black liner on my bottom lash line because it will really help your eyes pop. Now, lastly, a little mascara. The Falsies, I'm using the Falsies Push Up Angel Maybelline. Back is back. It's a very, very thin wand. I was not expecting that, but I guess it really helps you push those angels up. I think this is great for a lower lash line, but if I didn't have false lashes on, I probably would prefer something else. I usually like a thicker wand. It gets it on faster, but I love this for the lower lash line. Okay, and lastly, the lips. 
I'm using this, it says new, I guess I got a lot of new products, the Maybelline Peach Buff in the color 540. Since I have such a dark eye, I want a nice light color for my lips. Okay everyone, that completes this makeup look. Thank you for watching. Again, I use all Maybelline products and just to remind you, do not get Fit Me Blushed because it does not show up in any way. Let me know if you've had good luck with it, but I'm still working at it and nothing's coming up. So, very disappointed with that Fit Me Blush. I think what I'm most impressed with are these color tattoo eye chromes. These are beautiful and they were buy one get 150% off at Walgreens. So I don't know how long that promotion lasts, but pretty much all Maybelline was buy one get 150% off, which is why I decided to go with Maybelline. So definitely check these out. They're very easy, they do all the work for you. So again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Erica's channel. I will link it below so you can see her makeup look with all one brand. So, Rainbow Bye. London. Bye. Bye, mama's gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. Thank and you. let Bye. me know if you wanna see more one brand yeah. makeup look. So. One under these makeup. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Bye. Bye! Once upon a time, there is this. Oh. Bye. Let's go get cat.